Hello, and welcome to the first of our Advent meditations in which we will daily come together to prayerfully consider the lyrics of one of our Advent hymns. Everyone likes Christmas carols, mostly because you only get to hear them once a year. Well, the same is true about our Advent hymns. This is the only time of year when we intentionally sing all of the hymns that are in that particular section of our hymnal. And so to start off our Advent season today, I couldn't help but choose what is probably one of the most popular of all of our Advent hymns, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Now, there's a lot of questions that often come up about this particular hymn. Things like, why is it so long? Does it have to be so slow? All right, maybe those are the questions that I always used to ask. But the one question that I did ask often, and I have often heard as well, is why are there dates in front of each of the verses as it's printed in the hymnal? If you have a hymnal on hand and you want to go and grab it and, and double check that, it lists the dates from December 17th until December 23rd, that week before Christmas. Why are they there? So before we get to contemplating the words and images of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, let's find out why it has been written the way that it appears in the Episcopal hymnal and how that in turn reflects the Advent season. Each of the verses is an English translation of what is called an O antiphon, because each one starts with the word O. Now these antiphons, which are also known as the great antiphons, come from the sixth century in Italy, and they are traditionally sung during Vespers, or what is known to us as Evensong. An antiphon is a short sentence that is recited before or after a psalm or a canticle. Now, each of these seven is reflective of a name of the Messiah, as it is heard in the prophecies of Isaiah. Now, of course, I could go into a long explanation about each of the scripture, but I think I'll leave that to you if you wish to do more research or go down that rabbit hole. But for our meditation today, I think the idea that each one is a way for us to describe or refer to Jesus is what we need to have going forward into our meditation. So take a moment to take a deep breath or two, settle in a little bit to where you're seated. Close your eyes if it's safe and you're more comfortable that way. And let's hear the words of our hymn. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou wisdom from on high, who orderest all things mightily. To us the path of knowledge show, and teach us in her ways to go. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, O come, thou Lord of might, who to thy tribes on Zion's height in ancient times didst give the law in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou branch of Jesse's tree, free them from all tyranny that trust thy mighty power to save and give them victory o'er the grave. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. 
O come, thou key of David, come, and open wide our heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high, and close the path to misery. Rejoice. Rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou day spring from on high, and cheer us by thy drawing nigh. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and death's dark shadow put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, desire of nations, bind in one the hearts of all humankind. Bid thou our sad division cease, and be thyself our king of peace. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, O come, Emmanuel and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lowly exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. And so along with our meditation today, I'd like to leave you with three questions to contemplate. As you hear those words, or perhaps go back and reread them again, what feelings came up for you as you heard and considered each of the descriptions in each of those antiphons? Which particular verse resonated with you? Which particular description of our Messiah rang with you, seemed to be something that you were comfortable with, something that you feel is a definition or a title of Jesus? Or on the other side of that, which of the descriptions seemed kind of awkward in your ears? or something that you hadn't really had time to contemplate before. And finally, how does the particular verse that resonated with you speak to you about your relationship with Jesus? Is it a vital part of your relationship? Or is it an element of your relationship with Jesus that you want to work on during this Advent season? And in turn, what does that realization call you to do? Perhaps Jesus is calling to us all during this Advent season because we have called to him. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>